Nature is truly a beautiful thing, and it deserves nothing less than a beautiful soundtrack to go along with it. Too bad I can't provide in this field. Welcome back to Spyro 2. Last time, we 100% completed Glimmer, the first level, through the use of really epic sequence-breaking tips and tricks that I figured out when I was just a little kid, because I didn't need the internet. And then I discovered what the internet was, and I became overly reliant on the thing, and yeah, there you go. That's why I can't play games anymore. Because my over-reliance on walkthroughs and stuff like that, I, I can't do it anymore. It's, it's morphed my brain into this hideous mush of what it once was. Uh, speaking of stuff that's hideous and that I don't like, um... Well, on the plus side, water doesn't kill us anymore like it did in the first game, but unfortunately we can't swim in it. Not yet. So, yeah, look at that. Look at those beautiful gems just waiting to be grabbed. Yeah, no, unfortunately, no such luck. We're going to have to hold off for a bit, and for quite a while as well, because they explicitly designed this level so that you couldn't uh, unlock the ability to swim just yet. And, oh, Alora, I'm so sorry. I can only imagine how disappointed your voice actress would be if she saw this video. Like, she got paid to say that line and it just got completely cut off. Um, it's okay, we got the text there. So, Ripto's taking over the castle and we need the talismans from each of the uh, different levels. It's okay, we can do that. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna commit suicide. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go down here and get some more gems uh, because these can be easily missed. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, kill the wildlife, as I was saying, um, this level was intentionally designed so that you couldn't explore the whole thing, even if you use that sequence breaking glimmer. Uh, even if you have as many gems as you could possibly obtain by this point, uh, there's no way for you to unlock the uh, ability to swim just yet without visiting another level. Like, I'm doing a poor job of explaining it. Hunter, take over for me. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. Yep, I can do that. No trouble, my good man. There we go. So much easier. Just too bad we don't get to see what the bridge looked like originally, because I'm sure it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's see. I believe over here there's... Oh, no. I thought there was more gems over here. Uh, fun fact, actually. This area is going to be very relevant later on, but not for quite a while. Uh, so just ignore it for now. Uh, Idle Springs. That's the next level we're going to go to, I reckon, because I always make that the second stop. Uh, I don't know why. I just kind of got into a habit of doing it. I always make that the second level, probably because I like it quite a bit. That's a pretty fun one. But, uh, yeah, we'll make that the, uh, second place to stop. First of all, I do want to do some more exploration and just, uh, whoa, whoa, what was that? Um... Just to check, I'm not crazy. You saw that, right? You saw that. Spyro glitched out. He got stuck in the ground for a second. He wasn't moving. It wasn't my D-pad going dodgy. I swear, that was something else. Oh, and that right there, that's a 25er. Yeah, look out for those. Those are brilliant. Um, okay, here's the posh bear again. Okay, money bags. what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater. But not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. He is a tight ass, isn't he? Yeah, we need 500 gems. And like I say, even if you did that sequence breaking glimmer, you can't possibly get enough gems to uh, get the ability to swim. So yeah, they explicitly planned for that. They planned for the people that actually got smart enough to beat uh, the first level on the first try. Yep, there you go. Insomniac's always thinking ahead. Hi Spyro, you look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, so here we get into the basics of gliding and jumping and all that good stuff. You're gonna need to remember this. Not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Yeah, thanks for explaining that to me twice. They weren't anticipating that I was going to uh, fail to cross the bridge earlier, were they? Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, 
press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Oh god, this one. Okay, I have a little bit of a embarrassing story to tell you guys, actually. Like he says, I completely screwed it up. Sorry about that. Like he says, you need to press triangle at the end of the glide right there to hover like that. Uh, that's brand new to this game. You couldn't do that in uh, the first Spyro. So, yeah, massive improvement right there. But um, when I was a little kid, for some reason, I was so impatient and thinking that I knew everything that I just kept skipping past that text box right there. So when he's explaining how to hover, I just kept completely skipping past it and thinking that all I had to do was glide. It wasn't until after the 20th attempt, I think it was, that my mum actually came into the room and said, why don't you try listening to what the cheater has to say? And it was at that point that I realised my mum was actually a better gamer than me. Good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. Okay, considering that I screwed up the hover the last time, even though I wasn't trying to, I don't have particularly high hopes, but let's see if we can do this. My, uh... My buttons are a little bit dodgy on the deep, uh, sorry, on the controller, I must say, so if anything goes wrong, I'm blaming that. Uh, I'm blaming the disc for this, though. Sorry, Hunter. Again, the voice actors are getting screwed over about 20 years after the game first came out. Okay, here we go. He's going to give us an orb for the collection, and oh, there's no music anymore, either. Oh, that sucks. I think his right arm's slightly discolored as well. Uh... Okay, sorry, Hunter, we uh, we botched that completely. Uh, well, there's nothing else for us to do, and like I said, we are still quite a few gems short of uh, getting the swimming ability, so we're just going to go jumping straight into Idle Springs. Love that sound. Alright, here we go. This is one of my personal favourite levels in the first world. And now we get treated to these uh, little intros and outros, and these are always funny. Uh, life's not fair, is it? Spy idols we carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Wow, your dialogue completely glitched up. I'm sorry, man. Like I said, it's the game disc, and like I always took good care of this stuff when I was a kid, so I'm not sure exactly what's happened to the game disc to cause that. Maybe it's just natural aging, or I don't know, maybe I stepped on it one time when I was a kid and I just have somehow blocked it out of my memory. I don't know why, but it makes me feel bad, because, like like I said, sometimes the music skips, and a lot of times the dialogue skips. Uh, especially in the first world, I think it actually gets better as it goes along. Uh, from what I remember from the last several times I've played this game, I think that's how it works. Uh, like, my game disc is scratched in a certain way, if that makes any sense. I, I, I don't know, like, I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert on this stuff, even though I should be, uh, because that's kind of what I went to university to learn. But um, yeah, there's there's still plenty about computers that I'm yet to learn, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I'm not going to pretend I'm an expert on this stuff, but I find that uh, the audio glitches on my game disc seem to get slightly less prominent uh, as I get further through the game. It's mostly in the first world, to be honest. So, in the second and third world, if I remember correctly, that's where it gets a little bit better. I'm going to hope it is, at least. Uh, hopefully, my memory is serving me well this time. Uh, it normally doesn't, unfortunately. Alright, okay, anyway, enough complaining about uh, technical issues and how saddening they make me feel. Yeah, basically, the concept of uh, this level, uh, as the guy said before, uh, well, he tried to, but his dialogue glitched out. A uh, bunch of idols that they carved, st uh, sorry, bunch of idols that they carved came to life. We got to take them down uh, by rescuing the workers. Then we can progress through the level, sweet as. Right, okay, cheers, man. There's a whole bunch of gems near. Unfortunately, it's all red, so they're not worth a whole lot. And those uh, little uh, spiders right there really creeped me out when I was a kid. Right, there we go. Sweet. Now, oh, damn it. Get the vase. 
Sorry, for some reason, uh, I'm having a bit of trouble moving around every now and then. Uh, like I said, I'm going to blame the controller because that's all I really know how to do. Whenever something goes wrong, just blame your tools. It's the only thing I'm, it's the only thing I'm good at is blaming other people. To err is human. To blame it on someone else is even more human. I stole that joke from someone, but I can't be bothered saying who it was. Alright, okay. Now, I believe if we just go through here, this should be where the level ends, actually. It's pretty short, but there's still plenty of other things to do after we get the talisman. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But a moment, I want you to have this talisman. Sweet. That's the second of 14. And don't stop the music just for the cool effect. They complement each other. Don't separate them. Oh, is the music gone now? Oh, is that going to happen every time that I collect something now? Oh, I don't screw things up on purpose. I really don't. Oh, that sucks. Right, okay. Uh, I believe that... I don't think there's anything uh, through here. It's just a really cool looking waterfall. Yeah, we can't actually do anything through there. Um, we're going to have to go elsewhere for it. But first of all, before we actually go off looking for more gems... Uh, there is a pretty fun orb challenge over here, uh, which actually gave me a lot of trouble when I was a kid. I don't know how to hover. I'm sorry, Hunter. Like, I didn't take your advice. I'm terrible at this. Got to remember, hover, you idiot. And I bet this feels so awkward without the music. It's just me and the gem sounds and the colourful visuals. I like the colourful visuals, but meh. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, we got a really fun little gem challenge here, which I think is actually kind of difficult as well. Uh, take a look at the big cocktail monster right here. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, come on. She can't speak either. All right, okay, basically, um, we got to kill that idol by releasing all of the uh, hula girls at once. So basically, supercharged power up here. There we go, there we go. You gotta hit all six of these. Whoa, whoa, it's a bit tricky, but if I, no, no. Oh, I was hoping I could do that in one try. No, no such luck. Okay, this is a little bit dodgy, just a little bit, but there you go, second try, it's okay. Oh yes, the music's back, I love this. There goes the giant pina colada. Look at that. The hula girl thing there blew up that idol like a rotten candle. Now I can pursue a dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Unfortunately, its magical properties cannot fix the hideous dialogue glitches. Oh, I'm sorry. And now everyone's having a dance party. I can't stick around, unfortunately. I've got places to go. Right, okay, uh, let's see, uh, unfortunately, much like, uh, the Homeworld, uh, Summer Forest, this is another one of those levels that we can't 100% on the first try, because we need the swimming ability for that. Uh, yeah, so that's a pretty big change over the original game. Like, if I remember correctly, in the first Spire of the Dragon, every single level was beatable on the first try, like, you could get 100% in it, uh, in each level, sorry. Uh, in the second game, they've actually tweaked it so that you need uh, power-ups to come back and uh, finish the job. So, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they were really proud of these levels uh, if they wanted to make you visit them twice. Or, alternatively, uh, they didn't feel like making more levels, because if I recall correctly, I think there might be significantly less levels in this game than there are in the original. I think so. Like, Okay, let me try and recall. There are... 14 talismans, one per level. Uh, there's also some extra levels on top of that, spoiler alert. So that adds up to, I think, 20. Uh, that's just an estimate, but plus the three, technically four home worlds, that's 24 levels in this game. I guess if we want to include boss battles as well, that's 27. So then, uh, if we compare that to the original game, uh, how many is that? There were four levels in the first world, then I think it's another four, or is it five? So that's nine. Uh, yeah, maths is fun. 
Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they do that just to mess with you. They send the rest of those gems into the uh, uh, into the water, so you can't go after them. So that sucks. What a kick in the teeth. Uh, anyway, I was doing some maths. Uh, in the original Spyro, I think there's nine in the first two worlds. Um, then I think it's... Uh, I'm trying to recall. Maybe it's the same. Like, um, if the rules that I'm using for Spyro 2 apply, like including the home worlds and the boss battles and everything, if there's... Tw Whoa, Zoe, you're a bit delayed there. I can't be bothered listening. Something about camera controls. Where were you when I needed you? Come on. You're a bit delayed. Thanks for that. But yeah, if the rules that I'm using genuinely apply, then well, maybe there's the same amount of levels in Spyro 1 versus Spyro 2. In which case, cool. I love that outro. I love them. They really do let the... Uh, um, what am I trying to say here? The very funny is the basic way that I'm trying... I don't know what I'm saying. I like the intros and outros because they're humorous. And right there, uh, there's the second talisman. Idle Springs. Sadly, we cannot complete it. That's going to have to come later. But we can unlock the ability to do that right now. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for a, a small fee. 500 gems is not a small fee, and you know it. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for that. I could have easily figured that out on my own, but no, I had to pay money for it. Yeah, there you go. Fortunately, this was back in the day of uh, theoretical microtransactions. You had to pay in-game money. It wasn't real. Those were the good old days. Back when all you did was buy a disc and you just stuck it on there. There you go. All of the, uh, all of the gameplay was directly on the disc. No downloads, no patches, done. All ready to go. I miss the old days. Uh, anyway, on that note, we now have the swimming ability. I'm not going to show it off just yet. I'm going to wait until the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.